ID safety tag to tutorial created earlier in PowerPoint so let's see how it works and that is it guys no winner so we can always clear it and start all over now we have a winner that's how it works guys so the next thing I'll do is to take you straight into PowerPoint and show you how to put this tutorial together so let's go to PowerPoint now this is going to be a PowerPoint tic tac toe tutorial so let's get started the first thing I'll do is uh, just in case for you guys out there if you don't know how to get this developer right here this menu developer go to file select file options and once this dialog box pop up go to customize ribbon and right there is the developer make sure it's checked and then all you then need to do is uh, click on the ok button right here and that's it the developer will appear there okay once the developer appears click on it once it's clicked on here are the components that you need if the component you need is not right there you can always click on this uh, button right there and guess what this is the dialog box that we have here for any other object that you might need however all of the components that I need is right here but I only need one which is right here the command button as it's called in PowerPoint that's my command button one so the first thing I will do now is double click on it you know, if you want you can just right click maybe you see the property right there that's the property if you right click you see the property look at it right click select property list and right here is the property for this very button so you see where I have my caption right there I'll double click on that delete it because this tutorial is all about tic tac toe okay the next thing I will do now is go to font and change that to bold bold make that 72 yeah that's fine I need 10 of these buttons so I will speed that up and get back to you guys okay guys now I have 10 of those buttons in place the next thing I will do is right click on my on my slide right there right click select format background and that's the background right there I'm just gonna select uh, let's go for maybe pattern yeah I'll go for pattern so we have different patterns right here and let's see let me go for this yeah that looks good okay now I have my pattern if you like you can just play around with it and see whatever pattern you might like or you may like so right here I think this brick pattern looks okay for me so I'm just gonna select the brick pattern for now let's see this other one this one looks good okay I'll go for this pattern so the next thing is I will, I will now select button 10 which is right here look at it is button 10 let's change the font to maybe there is bold let's go for around 36 and enter the following caption in there there let's just call it clear that's it done and all other buttons I believe since they are copied yep since they are copied the font still remains the same so the next thing I will now do is double click on this button and declare as follows double click on this one declare button and all I just need to say is button 1 paste it right there because it's a clear button button 1 dot text oh sorry button 1 dot caption in PowerPoint is actually dot caption that's it button 1 dot caption clear so I need to do that for 9 of those button 1 dot caption for 9 of those let's come down here okay just all you need to do is change the numbers as follows there we finish with the coding for the clear button so let's go back there go back to my powerpoint right there okay the next thing is to double click on one of these buttons and come right here because I want to create my my function so I'll just call that private 
private sub I win so that's what I want to call that press enter that's my function right here so all I need to say is if button one oh sorry command button one dot caption command button one dot caption equals x and with command button two dot caption equals text as well let's just copy paste and change it change that to two and repeat exactly the same thing change that to three if that is if all of that is x then message box message box player x wins and let's put a comma there for visual basic information icon where is it yeah right there and that is that so all I need to do is to repeat exactly the same thing for the rest so I'm just gonna speed that up now okay guys this is how my function looks right now just come here that's it that's the function I created you can see it if button one dot caption equals X would be the same thing for button two button three and so on so let's come down so that I show you guys the codes the codes for the con function are all similar it's nothing different right? and that's it for the function the code right below that's just for the clear button okay now the next thing is to now program each of these buttons so if I double click on this now so since I double click on the first button but before I do anything I will I'll declare as follows options explicit I can then say dim flag as boolean which actually means yes or no true or false one or zero male or female that's what boolean stands for so what I'll then do is enter the following lines of code that's the lines of code for the very first button so what happened there is if flag equals false then button one change to x else button one change to zero so if you run the program play it and that is it right there can you guys see that so all I need to do is to copy those lines of code and repeat it for the other buttons so double click on that that's button 2 right here let me move down so that you can see that's button 2 all I need to do is copy the content in here just copy it you can see right here I've called I win that's I win right there it's been called here just copy it scroll down paste it right there change the command button to 2 I would repeat exactly the same thing for button 3 double click on button 3 and bring it up a little bit that's button 3 there and repeat exactly the same thing change it to 3 and then just speed it up I'll get back to you guys as soon as I am finished ok guys the lines of code are completed for each of the buttons so if I scroll right down you can see a lot of codes right here that's it for button 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 right there let's tap down a little bit so that you can see the rest of 9 that's it you can see it's all the same lines of code so all that is left for me to do now is just click on this uh, very icon there to run the program yes. you can always press F5 as well so if I click on this button you can see that okay. let's try that again so you will get a winner there okay when I click on the button so but if I click on OK I can still click on this which means it's wrong there's a bug in there so to take care of that they need to do is double click on that come in here and enter as follows if button one dot if button one dot enable equals 
if there's a win in there set button one enable to force so i will repeat that for, for button two 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 nine okay so let's go for two here three four five six seven eight and nine so what i'm trying to do here is so that you cannot click the system anymore once we have a winner so let's simulate one two and three as the winner now so let's run this and uh, try it out so we'll try one yeah one two and three as the winner okay you see that guys i will not be able to click on any of the button again because we have a winner only when i click on this can we start all over but this need to be reset as well so let's go back here double click on clear all right now copy all of this straight back into clear and change the force to true change all of the force in clear to true there and just copy and that is all for this program all i just need now is to speed it up and I'll get back to you as soon as it's all completed i will also complete this very one here the, the disable code for each of the or for each of my function right there and then i'll get back to you guys okay guys it's all ready now and i have all the disable code in there and that is it those are the code that will disable the program okay so let's go straight into the the slideshow now so if i come here click on that run the slide let's reset as it zero let's try to make zero one that's it zero one the game and that is it we cannot do anything anymore on unless if we click the button right there and we can start again x1 clear let's see if we can get yep that's it one two three one and that is how you develop tiktok tool in powerpoint so with that i'm just going to call it bye for now you guys have a nice day now